Hi, I'm David Hasselhoff. You may know me as the king of TV, but I've also been in more movies than Kim Kardashian's been in nail bars. Horror, sci-fi, action, romance, dance, sports, I've done it all. Sometimes all in the same scene. <laughs> well, tonight I'm gonna give you the benefit of my 40 years experience in the movies as I give you the Hoff's best horror film ever. <laughs> Welcome to the office. Come in, but don't touch anything. It's not yours. During my undeniably illustrious screen career, I've worked on such butt clenchers as Anaconda 3 and Piranha 3 Double D. And like I always do, I got out of both alive. Because, well, it wasn't real. But those terrifying experiences taught me what real fear is probably like. At the end of the show, I'm going to use that experience to reveal to you the Hoff's best horror film ever. Now, here's a horrifying look at the spine-chilling trip we're about to take. Look and learn, people. Feeling scared yet? You should be. You know, back in Knight Rider, I came up against probably the greatest bad guy I've ever seen. It was me, <laughs> playing my own double. You know, people often say to me, David, how did you do it? Well. I simply put on a small beard and raised my eyebrow in a menacing way. The bad guys in horror movies each have their own style too. But which is the baddest of them all? Well, there's no shortage of scary characters to choose from. Pretty creepy, huh? And what's even creepier is that these guys live in the most normal places. And the one thing we all value is normality. A modest house, a small tight community, a family car. I'm talking about you here. I mean, I live in a huge colonial-style mansion with armed security, but, but you, you get the point. Hold my hand as I take you on a journey to explore the calm before the storm. It's OK. It's OK. For some reason, the dudes in great horror films are drawn to the woods, to the cellars, and dark corridors, like screaming girls are drawn to a David Hasselhoff concert. Personally, I wouldn't go into a spooky forest without my agent, my assistant, my hair and makeup guy, and a couple of armed guards. <laughs> Check these dummies out. Apart from tabloid journalists hiding in your garbage, there are a few things more sinister than a whispering child. And a good horror flick knows that a clever combination of innocent imagery and latent evil is enough to give anyone the heebie-jeebies. Except me. I am totally not scared of anything except prenuptial agreements. It's chilling, I know. Your ears are often the first thing to tell you that something in a movie is wrong. Well, that and my face not being on the poster. Nothing quite sends a chill up the spine like a scary soundtrack. Let's take an unwise trip through the forest of creepy sounds. <laughs> so, now I've got you all scared out of your minds. You'll be wondering where the safest place to hide is. Somewhere with a lock on the door. Like the bathroom, right? Wrong! Everybody knows that in horror movies, if you go to the bathroom, you might as well flush your kidneys down the toilet. OK, so you made it out of the bathroom. Good. I just hope you opened the window. Now, death is a nasty business. I've always imagined that one sunny day, I'd slip away quietly, surrounded by Weeping Baywatch babes. People in horror movies don't tend to be so lucky. If they're not having their head used as a flaming basketball, they're peeled like a banana and thrown in acid. But hey, it's a living. Let's see some grisly stuff. Well, I've shown you some of the things you need to make a truly terrifying film. So. Now, to reveal what I think is the best horror film ever. Hey, it's my show, my rules. It's got creepy child twins with bad jumpers, a toe-curling bathroom scene, and the most deranged human bad guy I have ever seen. The Hoff's best horror film ever is... The Shining. But please, try not to have nightmares. After all, 
Horror films are just fun, artistic fantasies made by sick people with sick senses of humor. It's actual psychopaths that you should really be worried about. Sweet dreams, Britain. This is the Hoff signing off. Thank <laughs> you.